I'm not sure if I chose public speaking or <laughs> public speaking chose me. Uh, I had been in corporate communications for 20 years, worked for six large corporations, and I had written speeches for CEOs. I had delivered a lot of business presentations myself and was fairly good at it, but I'd never had any formal training in public speaking myself. And then suddenly one day, <laughs> I found myself on the chopping block. My entire team got laid off and some got reassigned. Others like me suddenly found themselves without work. So I had a master's degree and I knew I could teach school with that. So I found a private college was running an ad for a business communication professional. I thought that would work nice. It would blend in nice with the book that I had written. And, and I certainly knew a lot about business communications. So I had thought it was going to be a class about writing, maybe about uh, producing corporate uh, publications and, and so forth. But when I got there, they said, no, this job is to teach a public speaking class. And I thought, well, you know, I've never done that before, but I kind of like it because uh, I've been fairly good at it, I thought myself, and maybe I'll learn something <laughs> from it to do. So I took on the public speaking class. I'd never let my students know from the very first class that, that I was learning as much as they were when it came to the formal training. But I remember early on, I had a student, his name was Elliot, and Elliot did not want to be in the class. Elliot stuttered. Elliot didn't have a lot of self-esteem. Elliot tried everything to get out of the class. He even went and spoke to the dean of the college, but they wouldn't let up on him. It was a required course. They said, you have to take this. He wasn't shy about letting me know that he didn't want to be in the class. We worked with Elliot. We started teaching him some ways to get over anxiety. We taught him how to stand confident even when he wasn't. We gave him some formulas that he could follow so that he didn't feel like he didn't know what to say. But most of all, we gave him confidence. We let him know it was okay to be who he was, to develop his own unique style, that he didn't need to become someone he wasn't. Now, Elliot told me that at his work that every morning they had a, a lineup of, or a circle of, of people that would stand around and the boss would tell them what to do for the day and he would usually call on people to speak. Elliot told me that he always hid in the back of the group hoping that he would never be called upon to speak. Four weeks into my course, Elliot came up to me and told me that he was now standing in front in that little lineup every morning because he wanted to be called on because he was now confident in speaking. And I knew at that moment that this teaching public speaking was something that, that was I wanted to do. <laughs> this was my reason for being. And I have enjoyed it ever since and been so personally rewarded by watching how it has transformed people's lives, how it has changed their entire career path how it has helped them personally to grow and be all that they can be. And I'll never regret having been laid off and finding this profession.